Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be understanding how to do the blending of pathalo green and white. I'm sorry if I'm doing the pronunciation wrong. Uh, so I've got these colors from Vincent and Newton student range and I'm going to be um, testing this out on um, acrylic sheet which is basically acrylic paper anything above 400 gsm. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some dollops of the color directly from the tubes. So this is in real time from here. Um, so you can see how fast my brush movements are and how I do my brush strokes because that is the most important when it comes to blending with acrylics. So I've got uh, the green on the top and the bottom and a little bit of white in the center. So sometimes what happens is your color will not have a very good pigmentation in terms of uh, wanting to be completely opaque with um, acrylics. So you may have to either add colors a little more or you may have to add a little bit of white to this. So here you can see that the paper is seen through. The color is not completely opaque. It's not that easy to blend it. Uh, it could be because of the student range. It could be because of any other reason. The white although is pretty thick and um, quite nice, the pigment, which is why I um, like using this particular white from this brand. Uh, so now I'm just going with my strokes. I'm just going left and right, a little bit up, a little bit down. So you can see the brush strokes are seen through when I'm painting and I really like that because you can do so much of versatility with this and you can play around and create a lot of interesting textures this way so you can leave it at this point and not really take it up because my white is becoming a little dark with green at this uh, area um, maybe I should have left it a little more white um, or I could have added a little more green on top and then made it slightly darker because right now it's more of a blend of whitish green to dark green so that's how it is so i'm adding a little bit of green on top since my acrylic base is already wet um, this green is going to blend in easily however if there is a lot of white either on the base uh, which is uh, not right or on your brush then it's not going to blend in so easily so i've got a very subtle blend over here and um, it's got like a lot of these brush strokes that are happening so it's a really nice texture that you can create for your background using this then you can build up on top of it either wait for it to completely dry if you want to add some completely different details or if you want to play around with the same color again then even when it is like semi wet you can still play around with it thank you for still joining me in today's video i will see you soon for the next one bye bye